Did you guys like Jurassic Park? It's quite a cinematic masterpiece. And the idea of recreating dinosaurs in a lab and building a theme park around it seemed fun. Well, up until the power went out and things began to go seriously wrong. But did you ever think it was possible to do that? Jurassic Park probably felt a bit far-fetched. But what if we told you? There are many scientists around the world looking to bring back animals from extinction. In this video, we're going to take a look at 10 animal scientists are ready to bring back from extinction. Although, spoiler alert, T-Rexes have not made the cut. There's nothing too dangerous on the list. In fact, so if for some reason you were looking forward to the 12 foot tall, short faced bear returning, well, your camping trips aren't going to get as exciting as you want. But don't be too disappointed because we have quite an impressive list here. Welcome to another episode of Forever Green. And if you want to learn about the most surprising creature scientists plan to bring back soon, stick around for number one. Ready? Let's get into it. Number 10, the Woolly Mammoth. You probably remember this guy from the Ice Age movies. They were found mostly on the Wrangell Island in the Arctic Ocean, as well as Northern Asia, parts of Europe, and Northern America during the last Ice Age. There's some debate as to why they died out. Some believe humans were responsible for hunting them down. Others believe climate change was largely responsible. Their heavy fur coats couldn't have done them any favors when things got hotter. Hunting probably just wiped out whatever few managed to survive the changing temperatures. And you might be surprised to hear this, but the last of the woolly mammoths died out only as recently as 1650 BC. That's just 1,000 years after the pyramids in Giza were built. Since it wasn't so long ago, scientists found woolly mammoth carcasses frozen and in ice, which allowed them to access well-preserved DNA. They have considered synthesizing these genes and placing them into the embryo of an Asian elephant, their closest living relative today, and the Asian elephant could give birth to the woolly mammoth. Isn't that crazy? Coming in at number 9, we have the dodo. Dodos are probably the most famous extinct animal. They have quite a reputation for being stupid, for being comfortable around humans, but we like to think of it as just being simple. You see, they evolved in Meridius without any natural predators, and therefore weren't afraid when Dutch settlers invaded the island. The dodos were easy to herd into boats and kill later for fresh meat, and this largely contributed to their extinction. In reality, they had an intelligence level similar to pigeons. Since humans were responsible for their extinction, they make a strong contender for de-extinction. In 2007, scientists found the best preserved dodo skeleton ever, which is likely to hold valuable DNA samples of the bird. Pigeons are the closest living relatives of the dodo, so going by the mammoth example, we can assume scientists plan to use pigeons in bringing back this extinct species. Before we move on to our next extinct animal, we have a quick challenge that'll just take 5 seconds to complete. So. Here's the deal, leave us a like, smash that subscribe button, and turn on notifications, and you'll win 10 years of incredible luck. Try it, it actually works. At number 8, we have the elephant bird. This giant flightless bird could only be found on the island of Madagascar, and it died out in the early 17th century. One theory suggests they died out due to hunting, and there is in fact evidence of their habitats being destroyed. Another theory states they died from contracting hyper diseases from human carriers. Oh boy, it's really not looking good for humans, you guys. By the way, if you're wondering why we can't bring back the T-Rex, it's just because we have very limited DNA samples to work with. In order to unextinct any animal, scientists need close to perfect, completely undamaged DNA. That's why animals that went extinct more recently have a better chance of coming back. But even without dinosaurs, This list has some interesting creatures to look forward to. Stick around for number one, because it might surprise you. At number seven, we have the saber-toothed cat. You might remember this guy from the Ice Age movies too. They are roughly about the size of a lion and can grow to be 13 feet long. They have powerful jaws with dagger-like teeth. Hmm, are we sure we want to bring this particular animal back? Saber-toothed cats went extinct right after the Ice Age, and scientists aren't sure what brought it about. 
Some theories suggest they died partly due to climate change and partly due to starvation. Since they went extinct around the same time as woolly mammoths, there is still some well-preserved DNA to work with there. Number 6. The Quagga Does this animal look familiar to you? This is a subspecies of zebra, and it once lived in South Africa. The last wild quagga was shot in 1870, and the last one in captivity died in 1883, in an Amsterdam zoo. Sadly, it took a long time for us to realize she was the last of her species. A project was started in 1987 in South Africa to use selective breeding to bring the species back, and the quagga was actually the very first extinct animal to have their DNA analyzed. Currently, they are using selective breeding to at least retrieve the quagga's distinct stripe pattern. Next, at number 5, we have the Tasmanian Tiger. Not to be confused with the Tasmanian Devil, the thylacine, or Tasmanian Tiger, is the only marsupial to make the list. It once lived in mainland Australia and New Guinea, but was eventually limited to Tasmania until the 1930s, when it eventually died out due to hunting, habitat destruction, and diseases contracted from humans. I gotta tell you, guys, we have a lot to make up for. A female thylacine tissue was preserved in alcohol for over a century, which researchers are now trying to use to clone a Tasmanian tiger. Number 4. The Passenger Pigeons If you live in a big city like New York or London, you have probably had your fill of pigeons, and you just can't imagine those pesky things ever being extinct. But as extinctions go, this one was insane. We brought down the population of the passenger pigeons from billions to zero in just 50 years. Yeah, we definitely need to bring these guys back. Luckily, it shouldn't be too hard because their closest living relatives are the pigeons. And we sure have a lot of those. Number 3. The Woolly Rhino The woolly rhinoceros was commonly found in Europe and Asia and survived until the end of the last glacial period. They were about 10 to 12 feet long and weighed about 2,000 kilos. They had stocky legs and a thick coat that protected it from the frigid tundra during the Ice Age. Climate change, along with human hunting, is blamed for their extinction, which makes it a strong contender for de-extinction as well. We're now going to take a quick break to see our subscriber pick. Remember, if you come across a mysterious photo online and you want us to take a look, send it over and we might just feature it in a video. Now, let's take a look at the picture. Huh. Hmm. Looks like a triceratops just roaming the streets at night. It kind of reminds me of Jurassic Park. Either scientists already brought the species back and didn't tell anyone, or it's photoshopped. Sorry, buddy. But don't be disheartened. There's another large animal that scientists want to bring back, an animal with one horn. You can even say a unicorn. That's right, the good news is unicorns did exist at one point. Bad news is, they are hardly the elegant, tall, beautiful creatures we see in picture books today. Nope, these are a little bit different. Number 2. The Siberian Unicorn Tens of thousands of years ago, unicorns were a real thing. They looked like giant, hairy rhinos, and were six and a half feet tall and weighed four tons. Yeah. Maybe not the thing you want for your children's birthday party. This species was believed to have gone extinct 350,000 years ago. But researchers found a Siberian unicorn skull in Kazakhstan and dated it to just around 29,000 years ago. We do have some good news. Humans were not involved in the extinction of this species. Phew. Climate change is largely to blame for that. A fall in temperature during the Ice Age led to the ground freezing and affecting the tough, dry grass they lived on. As food became scarce, the species died out. Before we check out the number one, we want to issue to you a quick challenge. In the next five seconds, go ahead and subscribe to the Forever Green channel and click on the bell icon, and you will automatically learn a new language within a few months. Give it a shot. It works. Okay. Let's look at the number one extinct animal that scientists are looking to bring back. Number one, the Neanderthal. This one is by far the most controversial of them all. 
Humans and Neanderthals shared a common ancestor up until half a million years ago. They then split up and evolved parallel to each other. The Neanderthals went to the Eurasia continent and the humans stayed in Africa. The genetic blueprint to create Neo-Neanderthals exists. But the ethics of the operation has been questioned. It seems like the easiest one to clone. Scientists have devised that a stem cell could be taken from a human being since we are their closest living relatives. And by using genetic engineering, they can make adjustments to the DNA to match the code of a Neanderthal. It isn't the most sophisticated technique, nor is it cheap, but it's possible. Going from engineered cells to the whole animal has been successful in mice, and there's no obvious reason why it shouldn't work on other animals. However, there are many things to think about before we do this. They went extinct before the agricultural revolution, so they couldn't survive on our current diet. How would we raise them? They would look similar to us, but definitely not the same, which would make them stick out. There would be a serious emotional toll being raised as a Neanderthal around non-Neanderthals. If they're too smart, not smart enough, or too strong, it's likely they would be isolated. While bringing back Neanderthals seems easier compared to saber-toothed tigers, there are a lot of questions we need to answer first. Well, that's it for the top 10 extinct animals scientists are ready to bring back. Which animals do you want to see return from extinction? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. And if you like this one, be sure to check out our video on the 10 ancient animals that are still alive. We'll be back with another countdown video soon. Until then, goodbye.